okay what I can do is I can show you from where uh, the translate table is set up and how it will behave if I want okay. to use it in a page so okay so this page uh, can you see this page translate values yeah okay now there is only a single translate table there are no multiple translate uh, table in PeopleSoft it is just a single okay. table only a single database uh, table uh, which is used to maintain the translate values see okay. a, a table can store any number of data uh, depending on the database size so we do not need to maintain multiple translate uh, tables in PeopleSoft we only need a single translate table so that point is clear but in case of set ID or table set now a set ID is a column in a setup record okay yeah. and now the values from the setup records are used everywhere and shared across similar in a way a translate a a table uh, field is used now the difference between a translate uh, table and a setup table is that a setup table is related to a module a setup okay. table uh, might be related to your job data uh, like location, department, uh, job code, anything. But a translate, yeah. but a translate table is not module specific. Its field can be used in any of the page, irrespective of the module. Okay. Now let me sh show you a field. Now this is one of the fields in this translate table this is a single field which is phone underscore type okay yeah. now this field need not be part of any setup why because phone type is a phone type it is it does not vary with uh, any kind of a module see if i if i were to create a setup table out of it there would be no use of it but if it was a job code it would have yeah. different different attributes based on different different countries where it is supposed to be used this module. field can be used in any of the module where a phone data needs to be stored right now when I when come here and I if I click on the search return to search you can see that when I entered the value phone it gave me yeah. around 11 values over here which means all of these fields can be used across as a common field in any of the pages wherever I'll have a phone I will have a drop down in front of it where I can specify what kind of phone type uh, I am going to use now mm -hmm. a phone type is a common field which can which will be uh, which will be present for any of the employee irrespective of where he came from so it is wise to store the phone type uh, in a, at a common place and use it across all of your modules but this cannot be done for job code job code yeah. attribute will change based on the person let's say a manager uh, is assigned a job code and a student is assigned a job code now both of their uh, job specification will be different so their hours working hours their salary structure their compensation their uh, packages salary packages will be different so i cannot maintain a single job code field like this in a in a in a single table and share it across i'll have to create a table i'll have to uh, uh, i'll have to share the data in the table like i discussed last time using set ids mm -hmm. to sh to share similar kind of job codes across similar kind of people now if i click here mm -hmm. phone type there are 13 values over here which are being shared across all the pages wherever this phone type field is used okay so and you can see that there is no set id here there is no not a, not even a requirement to have a set id here because this is a translate table and a translate table only stores value for drop downs so wherever okay. you will have this field it will come as a drop down now let me show you a, an, an example that will be more clear in this training I need to show you from where you actually hire a person okay mm. 
so I'm going to hire a person so I'll have to go to <coughs> no no not hire main menu workforce administration this is the main core HR module where you maintain your workforce or people okay yeah. there inside this there is personal information and inside this this is add a person okay. now you can see that it is saying person ID it is not saying ample ID okay because till now the employee ID is not generated because till now I have not actually hired a person I am just uh, going to you know uh, add his job data and personal data and when I click on save only then logically the employee ID should be generated right otherwise if I if I go here and I don't know anything an employee ID will get yeah. wasted so that's why they have put an employee ID as new and they don't want to bother us with manually entering the employee ID I, what I can do is I can enter manual employee ID as well that's not a problem but hmm. why should I you know put a headache in my head to just enter a employee ID here when the system whenever system uh, comes here it automatically assigns a default employee ID based on the last ID you remember I showed you a page last time where all the last IDs were maintained in the setup table hmm. installation hmm. page so that last ID will be automatically incremented uh, when I come here okay and when I click on okay. add so it will take me to a personal data page why personal data because when you add a person it is first the first step is always to add his personal data and then his job data because remember there are three type of people in your organization one is employee ID one is employee sorry another is contingent worker and the third type is person of interest both contingent worker and person of interest may not have job data why because a person of interest can be an intern a student who is not paid a salary but paid paid a cash out using a check so that may not be required to be stored in the people's of system what is a contingent worker a person who has you know uh, working under a contract or a person whose payroll may not need to be processed because he is working from a vendor point of view right okay so these kind of people still need to have their personal data added uh, that is the mandatory thing which people soft needs but they may not need to have their job data put in so that's why when you add a person you have to save his job data otherwise you will not be able to uh, hire that person so this page is actually used to hire people so what I'm going to do I'm going to show you how many translate fields are over here you can see that this is a translate field format type okay. this is a drop down you can see that language code is a drop down you can see that yeah. gender is there you can see that higher education level is there you can see that as uh, matter status is there now these fields are not coming from a setup page these are common okay. common fields which are used in all kind of transactions right okay. there yeah. since these are so frequently used and their values does not change that frequently it is a, a better idea to, to to store these fields as a separate uh, uh, data in a separate table and let it be what it is it, let's not associate these kinds of fields to any setup table so that my job mm. becomes easy and maintaining these fields will be easy now if I go back to my translate value and I mm. enter gender I'm sure this will be a translate field uh, let me check gender label no no so you see gender is not stored as a translate value when I entered gender mm. it didn't come up so that means even though in the front end it is showing me three values here it may it is not a translate field it is stored as a different field in the database so don't be confused to, to see that every kind of drop down is a translate field no a drop down yeah. can be a translate field or a drop down may not be a torsion field but a normal field and it could be coming from a setup a table so just a, it, uh, just a field if it is a drop down uh, may not be 
a good indicator that it is a transfer. Now let me search for this <coughs> model status. Let me see if it is a translate field. So this is a translate field. Uh, see the name of the field in the back end is married underscore stat and mm. it has single married <coughs> separated divorced and widowed if I go to the front end so right now only three values are coming here whereas yeah. this translate field has five values <coughs> so mm. even though this translate field is being used in that page through people yeah. code some the programmer has restricted how many fields should be shown here so a translate field is a common source of data which mm. is not changing that frequently and which is required in almost all the pages but is not part of setup okay yeah but if i were to come here and you can see that this is a social security number coming as a drop down value now if I enter anything here and click save, it will not allow me to save this uh, any kind of format over here because a program is attached to this SSN field. Now, this mm. is something which is related to USA. Yeah. If I click here and I click on India, mm. did you see that this has changed? Yeah, now there you is have no option. Okay, yeah. So this is a setup field. Why? Because it's values are changing based on the country mm. it, this this field's value is not based changing uh, based on the country there are two type of people everywhere in every country there are only certain matter statuses uh, which are common to every country but this mm. kind of field has its attributes changing based on the country we use so that's why yeah. a very good indicator of a setup uh, field is that it keeps on changing based on the country and based on the type of the person you are going to hire but a translate mm. field is is so common and yeah. it is so common that uh, you don't need to maintain it separately you have a single table in the back end which is called if you want to note out the name it is called ps xlat tbl xlat mm -hmm. so xlat is basically a short form of translate so okay. oh, this field will be stored as a as one two three four ha will have five rows uh, in that table for this field mm -hmm. And you can see that when you select single, it doesn't store single mm. in the back end. It will store one as the value. Because okay. Okay. this yeah. is the actual value and it cannot exceed more than four characters. And see, if I'm trying to enter five now, but it is not allowing to enter five. So again, the main difference between translate field and a setup field is that a translate field has to have anything which is less than uh, less than or equal to four uh, character long but in case of a setup field you can have n number of characters in the field doesn't matter mm -hmm. and you can store a value you may or may not be able to store a value for a setup field but you will never be able to store a value which you enter using your hand see here yeah. only three values are there here you can enter anything mm -hmm. see i can enter anything so this is a setup field Hmm. So is this clear? Yeah, it's fine. It's very clear to me. I'll start the next.